let's see if Facebook is going to sit there and get me on right away. <laughs> it's always a game. It's always a game, Facebook. Come on now. There's the error. I knew I was on. All right, so let's uh, give it a few minutes, let some people get on and everything. Um, let's see how you guys do, and happy Sunday to you all. Glad to see that you guys are having a wonderful day. It's warm in many places and everything else. So it is 2.06 p.m. Eastern Standard Time in Michigan. And I just wanted to get on before I go about my day um, and everything else of what I have planned and be able to say hi to you guys and talk about the subject that we all need to know about, which is free will. Is it an illusion? or is it real? What is your perspective on free will? And you can place your your perspective and what you feel in the comments as we go along this discussion because I will give shout outs um, you know toward the end and everything because I don't want to get stopped into the middle of my conversation about it and talking about it because it's kinda of like it, get, it throws me off so I will definitely give shout outs for those that stop by but we're gonna be talking about free will and everything. Is it an illusion or is it real? So, first, let what is free will to you? Do you believe that we even have it? I mean, I'm sure in gen in the general sense that we must all assume that we have the freedom of choice. I mean, we work and live where we wish, and we choose our mates, whether that's good or bad. We choose whatever interest that we may have freely. However, with everything that's going on, it seems that the whole concept of free will is being questioned with scientists and doctors acting as if that they don't know what's going on with this bug with fear and restrictions and everything that is going on is putting a lot of things into question in regards to any free will we thought we even had within this life of the matrix I mean bottom line we are all starting to get the idea that this seemingly sense of freedom that we had before is no more than an illusion many of you woke people watching are probably seeing watching this watching this live like no shit while others are are maybe thinking that this you know that I'm some sort of conspiracy theorist that I'm about to go on a tangent about the latest events of 2020 relax it's not going to be that type of live I am just here to give you some things to think about to awaken your soul you see scientists classically classically assume assume that the world of nature operates according to fixed laws of behavior and adaptation and evolution. Psychologists follow closely behind with suggestions that our, our choices are genetically and culturally determined that we may think we have free will, they say, but in actuality we had we were acting according to the instincts modified by training our by by the training of our parents and by other cultural, you know, authority figures and by propaganda uh, propaganda marketing forces within corporations and mass media. I mean some of that is kind of true, right? So what about religions? Well, many religions, not all, also tend to deny the existence of free will. Sometimes specifically, some religions describe human beings as being too sinful to be able to make skillful choices for themselves. Where human beings, they say, only have access to free will in the decision to throw themselves upon the mercy of the Creator. Tapping you into the belief that you are not worthy or intelligent enough to have free will except to repent completely untrue isn't it so however as stated not all religions feel this way I'm just making you aware that you have been manipulated by all aspects of life such as science psychology and religion and and that is making you believe that as humans that you don't have no free will nor the power to change your reality to allow anyone to believe that they have power within themselves or to even f or even to believe that they even have free will of choice it's taking you ba it's taking back that power and away from those that wish to enslave you religions rather you believe it or not believe that the creator icon rather that is Jesus or Allah or any other figure is that humanity's only hope for salvation when in truth, the salvation for humanity is within you. It's within all of us. We are the salvation. Scary, isn't it? 
especially when many are distracted by this bug and, and that's supposed to wipe out humanity or people fighting among one another. The thing is that we were all conditioned to believe it, to believe that power within all of us or that we are conditioned to get mad at anyone who says otherwise. I mean, really, who would you want to take responsibility for, your, for, for the actions of their own choices? or to have the ability to make our own choices without having someone to tell us how to think or what to choose. In reality, some are comfortable in living that way, that it's okay for them to, be, to have someone else make choices for them in how to live. But do me a favor, close your eyes for a moment. Look within you, inside your soul. Ask yourself, do I have free will? Do I have the power within me to change my own reality? Are you truly powerless as you have been led to believe? So if you said yes, that you do indeed have free will, that you do have power within you to change your own reality, and that you are not powerless, then I have, then I have clearly made my point. So stop thinking that things are out of your control because you have been in you have been in control the whole time. You have been the captain of your own ship. According to the teachings of the law of one, that it is saying that in the complete stark contrast than what we have been led to believe. It's because it places the individual human being in complete charge of their own life with the ability to make free choices. You see, the impact of, begin, of the beginning to grasp the actual nature of the nested illusions of experience is daunting and can constitute a time of adjustment in which the nature of the self is allowed to transform itself according to the ways of this free will that enters into the creation upon each level of development. The free will, the free will of yourself can barely be distinguished from the free will of that logos, which is the consciousness, the mind, that is the group mind, that the soul stream, that overarching logos, that is the planetary mind, and so forth. Think of logos as the mind. The connection is that each entity has, with each aspect of an infinite being, that is the self, are unending. So that free will is shall we say the icon of the deity which expresses the feminine and the ever moving the fractifying the, con the con uh, confederation entities that are channeled through within the wisdom of the law of one the beings known as Ra they agree with the science and the religion in saying that humans are weighed down by all the cultural information and the bias that they have learned it is suggested that we must wake up from the cultural dream in which we were born. The moment that humans do become aware that there is more to life than culturally accepted channels of thinking, that we start from scratch as to what we really know for sure. We are not questioning things within the consensus of reality, like newspapers being delivered or the electricity being on. We are seeking a new outside of the box reality, a new view of the physical and the spiritual world in which we live in. We come to this deeper seeking process with empty hands. We lay down those cultural religions and intellectual assumption that we have learned. We begin a new with basic questions like, what is really true? Who am I? What am I doing here? When, when assumptions are tested, what solution is found to work? That realization that we have drunk in a lot of bad information during our childhood is often our starting point in choosing to accelerate the pace of our own spiritual and mental evolution. And before we begin to play the, the game of life, we consciously choose to know the truth for ourselves. We begin to build our own intelligence, which is that many are doing now with everything that is happening in today's craziness. Breaking away from religious authority, we wind up taking personal responsible f r responsibility for the process of our own spiritual and ethical evolution. Breaking away from science view, we claim to have as much of a higher and heavenly nature in our own makeup as we do to the lower or earthly nature in which is the study of science and psychology. The teaching of Ra in the Confederation with the Law of One suggests 
that we are every bit as much as the citizens of eternity and infinite things than we are of limited earthly beings who are just born to die. When we make that decision to seek the truth, we are knocking on the door of spirit. And according to the law of one teachings, by spirit, the universe means the whole range of spiritual guidance. Some think of spirit as hidden, the world of ghosts. Some people who were brought up Christians think of spirit as the Holy Spirit or Jesus Christ. Really, it is whatever it is comfortable for you. That is why the Ascended Masters and the Inner Plane Teachers, the term spirit includes all of these meetings. Whatever is comfortable to you. The wisdom of the law of one states that free will is involved in the very first moments of the infinite creator away from its mastery clad unity. In their story of creation, the creation uses the facility of its free will to choose to know itself. It then sends forth the thought which is a creative principle and the essence of its nature. The essential nature of the logos, the mind, is unconditional love. The logos, the consciousness, then uses the light to manifest the creation the creation in all of its rich detail, endless orders of magnitude from stars to subatomic uh, particles that are formed. So with the first distortion or movement away from the pure potential of the unmanifested creator is free will. And when we awaken to the desire to seek the truth of our being, we imitate the creator's decision to turn to free will. We choose to set out the terms in the seeking process and seeking the truth. It is, it is tricky to choose to seek the truth because we have a lower faculty of choice which comes from our 3D uh, human vessel. That great 3D human vessel and the mind with a faculty of, freak, of fake free will. But understand this. Our biocomputer minds are only able to make our choices, but only from a menu known to it. That it is, that's the fake part. Of it. Because we do not know all the options. We are given only the things that we have learned in school, church, or even sitting in the laps of our parents during our to toddler days. Who really knows how to live this life on the level of getting by, which is known as the flat game board, or what we know as the matrix. I mean, think about it. When a person delegates to a, delegates to a religion or to a science or to a cultural norm, norm, it is all power over his or her personal decision. Or to that he or she is choosing to play within the lower vibration of the game, game of life. Yet, a person can thread his or her way through the maze of dogma, psychology, and science as it's known to try to get to the next level. It's not to say that a person can't get there, it just makes it harder. It's hard to play the game when no logical thinking or questioning is allowed. That, my friends, is the game that you choose to play. If you don't invoke the free will that comes from a higher source. True, uh, true free will. True free will is a characteristic stemming from the Creator. It is the principle by which the Creator chooses to know itself. It generates the universe in which we live when we use the higher faculty of free will. This faculty of free will imports data from our spirit world and sources of guidance into the subconscious minds that we call upon the higher faculty of free will as it is where an angel which was dealt within us but with which we have not yet recognized. Only by that inward reach to the faculty of true freedom of will that we can truly catapult ourselves outside of the box and into the position above the mundane where we can, for the first time, begin to look at life without getting caught in the middle of emotions of it. So let me ask you again. Let me ask you this and ask yourself. What is free will to you? Isn't it an illusion or is it real? So I wanted to bring this message to you because I want you to understand what free will truly is. What it means to you. And why that living in this matrix world in this 3D that it seems that we don't have free will when actually we do. We have a lot more power than we ever, ever can ever believe.
but we, we have to believe in it within ourselves that we have the free will to change our reality to change our world but we just got to stop this fighting and actually come together and activate our free will and join hands and be able to change our reality as a collective consciousness so I appreciate every one of you for coming on and I hope you have a wonderful Saturday or Sunday and um, I will catch you soon because we'll be talking about dimensions next so I honor you thank you for coming you guys have a blessed day